are subscribed and have been watching me from the start know I love my project pans. <laughs> This is my introduction into another project pan called Past, Present, and Future. <laughs> project panning has become such a passion of mine. It is a hobby that I have fallen for and I have fallen hard. <laughs> everybody if you're new here hi how are you thanks for stopping by and welcome to the family my name is Rose I'm a girl boss on a no buy who loves to save money and project pan today's video is my I want to say this is going to be the last introduction to any new project pans for a while unless there are any like short-term seasonal ones I might hop in along the way you guys know me <laughs> I love project panning as you know my channel overall is basically a project painting channel with tidbits of like inventory and no buy check-ins stuff like that the creators of past, present, and future is Kooky Pants over on Instagram and a beauty guru made me do it, my girl Paula. I will, of course, have both of them listed down below in the description box for you guys. Paula has a YouTube channel. I'm sure a lot of you probably are subscribed to her. She is wonderful. And Elizabeth is over on Instagram as Kooky Pants. Very sweet lady. I'm very glad that I was able to join in on this project with them. Also, everybody else who is doing this project will be listed down below in the description box for you guys as well. I haven't decided on if I want to make this rolling or not. It is going to be a year-long project. Of course, it's monthly updates. What the objective is, is for past, present, and future. You pick for past, you pick 10 items in your makeup collection that hone in on the past decade that we just completed. How I have decided to do it is I'm using and picked 10 of my older products that I basically bought and purchased when I got really big into makeup again. I was heavily into makeup. I went to a professional makeup academy in my 20s and then life happened and some very hard life struggles happened and I felt out of makeup and had since gotten back into makeup pretty heavily which is where we are today now struggling to just find a balance with everything back in 2015 is when I got back into makeup really heavily that is where my 10 items from the past are going to start is when I got back into makeup heavily which was in 2015 and then for the present it you'd use one item that was gifted to you like a Christmas present birthday present anniversary one gift to represent the present right now current and then for the future, it is then 10 new products to ring in this new decade that we have just entered into. So 10 of your older products for the past, one gift that you received for the present, and then 10 newer products to ring in this new decade. Let's just go ahead and hop on in. Sorry for the long intro. I just got to make sure I cover all my grounds with you guys. You know I'm a very thorough person. Let's go ahead and I will show you my 10 older products that I have chosen. Starting with my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in the shade Rebel Rose. I have decided to choose this. This is one of my older lip products that I own and I set the goal on this. I gotta look down at my notes you guys if you see me looking down. I set the goal on this to finish it up. I did really enjoy this and I used this quite a lot when I first purchased it. Hopefully it shouldn't be a problem in using it up. 
Next is my Wet n Wild Call Me Maple Old Contour Cream Contour Stick. You can see it's pretty old. The labeling has worn off. It's in the shade Call Me Maple. I think I mentioned that. And I'm setting the goal on this to finish it as well. As you can see, that is all the product that I have left. So it shouldn't be too difficult in finishing it up. I really, really enjoy Cream Contour. It just looks so much more natural and beautiful on the skin. The cap is disgusting. It's crazy it's a mess I definitely want to finish this up and get it out of my collection next product is a rollover from an older project pan that it was in and that is my profusion brows Two. you guys know I love this brow powder and this has since rolled in from an old project I want to say go for the goal or one of the older projects from last year and I'm setting the goal to finish the shade Espresso right here. I'm actually really close to hitting pan on Java right now. But I want to finish the shade Espresso. I use this every single day. It is such a great brow powder. As you can see, it just does such a beautiful job at really filling in your brows. If you have any sparseness, it just looks natural. And it blends into your brows seamlessly. I love this stuff. And it's only like 5 bucks I got this for. So that's a great deal. Want to finish up the shade Espresso in that. Next is my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. And I had Hit Pan in here last year. And I want to set the goal to finish this up as well. This is a really, really nice eye primer. A lot of people love this stuff to use before applying any type of eye shadows and stuff. It does a good job at not creasing. And it makes your eyeshadow last all day, bright, vibrant. Really good eye primer there. Next is my e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel. There isn't a whole lot left. It looks pretty disgusting because, you know, you sweep it in your brows and then you put it back in the tube. But as you can see, I mean, I'm literally just scraping the sides. But I also want to use the other end as well. They're both pretty much the same thing. I don't know of anybody who would actually put some kind of gel in their eyelashes, <laughs> which is what this side is for. For, but I'm gonna use it for my brows so I want to finish this up I've had this for a couple few years it's getting up there in age and I definitely would like to get that finished and moved out of my collection next up for the past is my Kat Von D little travel size liquid liner in the shade trooper this was a lot of people's favorite about three four years ago I want to say in 2016 I got this as a birthday gift I shouldn't have a problem finishing it up. It's getting to the point where I don't want it to get dried out because it could happen any day now. And if it does happen to dry up while in the process of trying to finish this, I'm going to go ahead and just call it done on it. But it's still working right now, so we shall see. And again, I want to set the goal to finish this up. I'm not sure if I had mentioned or not, but this is not going to be a rolling project for me. I have 21 products here, and once I hit the goal on that product, I will then just continue focusing on the rest of them, seeing if I can finish and hit all 21 goals in the year's period of time for this project. So no rolling project here. Next is my Billion Dollar Brows Brow Pencil. I actually really like this. I used the most of it up. As you can see, that is literally all that is left of this brow pencil right now. And I'm setting the goal to finish it up. I definitely shouldn't have a problem. This came in a boxy charm. The one boxy charm I ever got two years ago, I want to say. I got one subscription one time. I didn't really care for it. There was a lot of stuff I didn't care for. And I'm like, well, it's going to be like this every month. And getting products I don't really care for so I canceled it right away but this came with it and I really did actually enjoy this and I want to finish this up next is my L'Oreal Silk Me. I can't pronounce it but it's basically a black eyeliner and I would like to finish this up this is the oldest liner that I currently own in my collection and I have quite a collection of liners if you guys haven't been watching my inventory series I recently uploaded part 5 to it which is all my base products I will link it in the cards for you guys definitely want to go check it out I have five parts 
up so far. We're about halfway. Hopefully I can get that finished relatively soon for you guys. I know a lot of you guys have been asking and requesting that inventory series. Eyeliners and stuff are going to be coming up really soon. And yeah, this is definitely my oldest eyeliner that I own. Would like to get this finished up and rolled out of my collection. Next is my Maybelline Master Prime Primer. This is actually a really nice primer. As you can see, I marked it. You can't really like see to mark it, but just by like feeling it, it feels like it's pretty full. I did use it quite a bit when I first purchased it a couple years back. It's one of my oldest primers so I want to get this finished up and use up and again one less older product out of my collection which is why I really enjoyed and like the concept of this project because it's going to help me in using up some older products and still enjoy newer products as well just getting things finished up and used up that are old out of your collection and then the last product for the past is going to be my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This also came in that boxy charm, the one that I received, which I really do actually enjoy this. But it's been sitting in the wayside waiting to get used again. And I've been using it again currently, but before I was using my L'Oreal Lash Paradise, which took all of last year to finish. Since I finished that, now I would like to get this one finished. It's my oldest current mascara that I do own, so I would like to get this finished up. And then for the present now, the present is one gift that you had received. What I'm going to use for the present is my Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow Palette. My husband got this for me as an early Christmas present absolutely beautiful palette you guys so freaking stunning i'm looking forward to when i start getting some color back again because it is a very warm bronzer this will look absolutely beautiful on me when i get a nice golden tan back i mean i still use it and i can blend it out i'm wearing it today it's really beautiful it'll look so stunning on me in the summer these two are cream glow powders and i'm not really sure what these are for i've been having having a hard time figuring out what those are for. You got a glow cream base and then the other one is called a super glow and then it has the highlight shade. Really really beautiful natural looking highlight from within type of look. Absolutely gorgeous and I'm setting the goal on this to hit pan on any shade. And now for the future it is 10 more products to ring in this new decade that we have. They're all like newer products that are in my collection I will go ahead and start with one of the newer items that I got I purchased it a couple months back actually around August or September I got this but this is the Ula Hendrickson's banana bright eye cream really love this this is one of the only eye creams that I have used where I actually see results you guys it is really nice as you can see, I've gotten a lot of good use out of it, and I want to set the goal on this to finish it up. I'm about halfway on it, so it shouldn't be a problem in finishing it up. And then the next newer product for future is my Ula Hendrickson's Sea Rush Brightening Double Cream. This is really, really new. I got this as a Christmas present with one of my gift cards I received, and I really, really enjoy this. It has a real light citrusy, like orange fragrance to it but it's real light not nothing too overbearing Ula Hendrickson has a, such a great line skincare I really really have been enjoying them I'm setting the goal to use it halfway as you can see it just only has a couple uses in there so I have a year to work on it we'll see how it goes <laughs> Next is my Becca First Light Priming Filter. As you can see, I kind of got it marked up there because it's brand spanking new. I got it as another Christmas gift on my gift card. I am setting the goal on this to finish it up. I shouldn't have a problem finishing it up because it's a deluxe size bottle. We shall see how that goes. Next is my NYX Bear With Me Skin Tinted Skin Veil <laughs> in the shade Pale Light. I will set the goal to use this halfway. We shall see. It's a little too light for me. Fortunately, I have this shade in Beige Camel, which is my summer shade. And this is like a winter shade that's a little too light. So I might have to mix the two together to hit that goal of using this halfway. This is a really 
really nice, real light coverage, sheer type of BB cream, but it's actually really good and I, I've been enjoying it, so. Next is my It CC Cream, Your Skin But Better. And I'm setting the goal to finish this up as well. Everybody loves It Cosmetics, I feel. Some people might feel it's a little too greasy on their skin if you have a more oily skin texture, but I really enjoy it. This is, again, another product that I quickly throw on on days when I'm not doing any makeup to ha need to have a little bit of coverage or color to my skin even. I will apply this, and this is in the shade light want to finish this up next is my la girl shockwave neon liner in the shade electric just a really beautiful bright blue liner and i forgot to show you guys i already have my tallies made up for all of my pencil products in this project i have a couple that are also from a to z i will show you right now the tally mark for my neon shockwave liner as you can see it is almost pretty much a full size right now i am going to set the goal to use half of this so we'll see how it goes i really enjoy putting a colorful liner in the waterline all the time when i do colorful looks which is a lot i really do enjoy these gel liners i have i think every shade Next is my ColourPop BFF and I Love Setta E liner in the shade 951. I am setting the goal on this as well to finish it up. I already have my tallies for it. As you can see, it is basically almost a full size, brand new. It's not brand new, but it's newer. It hasn't been sharpened or nothing yet. And I don't count from this little tip down on any of my liners because once it gets down to here, that's it. That's the end of the product in the tube. That's where I start my tallies from. And I set an aggressive goal on this to finish it. We shall see, but I really do enjoy ColourPop lip liners. Next for the future is my Prismetal Chrome Eye Mousse from JCat Beauty in the shade Below Zero. Absolutely beautiful. I really, really enjoy JCat Beauty's eye mousses. These things are just creamy goodness on the eye. This is the first time in swatching it or anything. I haven't even touched it yet. And as I, sh I will show you, it just applies so beautifully on the skin, on the eyes. It doesn't crease on me, and it lasts all day. Very vibrant, very good. I own about three or four of these. I set the gold on this to hit pan on it. Next is my Marc Jacobs little travel mini lipstick in the shade Sugar High. Just a really beautiful nude shade. As you can see, it's basically a brand new full tube. I got this over the summer. Just never really used it yet, which is a shame because it's actually really, really pretty and a really nice formula. I should actually mark this with a tally and I will do that once I'm done filming this video. And I set the goal on that to finish it. <laughs> And then last but certainly not least is my Fenty Beauty Butter Pro Filter Powder, little travel size. This is a really nice powder, you guys. I set the goal on this when I posted it over on my Instagram to use it up, but there's kind of a lot of product in there. As you can see, I've been using it. That's where it started at, so I'm already a little under it. So I set the goal to use it up, but I might change it to just use half of it, just because I don't wear powder all the time but I'm already actually doing rather well so you know what I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it to finish it up I just I feel in my mind oh it's a new product I don't want to use it up so quickly but it is what it is and I really have been enjoying it and if I'm enjoying a product I want to use it make sure I get my money's worth out of it not will be afraid to use it so I think that is everything for this introduction of past, present, and future. I know it was a long one, but we had 21 products to get through. Thank you so much for stopping by. Until my next video, you guys, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everybody enjoy the rest of their day. <laughs> Bye.